Boom! All right, ladies and gentlemen, a special Labor Day show. You know, everybody's chilling at home, not working, but we got something so cool we have to share. I'm going to be speaking at an event soon, and that's what this episode is all about. So if you're into that digital marketing space, you're going to want to tune in. Here we go. Shut up and sit down. Look, a business can give you everything you want in life. Prestige, wealth, freedom, It can also take everything away from you. This show is for those who are willing to take that risk. These are the real life stories of entrepreneurs. But before we start, I have one small favor to ask. Please leave a comment. It could be advice, critiques, tips, feedback, or share this with someone because your engagement is the most valuable and most powerful form of social currency. So thank you. And welcome to another episode of Business Plus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to skyrocket your digital and social media marketing strategies? Then tune into this episode for an exclusive conversation with a true industry leader who's here to unlock the secrets of the digital world. Plus, he's going to ask me some questions on this round. From lead generation to conquering social media platforms, our guest has the insights you need to thrive. With a substantial following on YouTube, channel broadcasting over a million views, their influence has felt has been felt far and wide. But that's not all. Our guest is also the mastermind behind the Digital Marketing Summit, which is an event that brings together industry experts and professionals to discuss their latest trends and strategies. Plus an added bonus, I'm going to be speaking at this event coming up on September 21st. So discover how you can harness the power of digital marketing, gain priceless insights, and position yourself as a leader in your niche. Stay tuned for an electrifying episode that's going to guide you through digital marketing mastery. So now let's welcome to the show our esteemed guest, Mr. James Hickey. <laughs> James, I know this is a little bit of a unique episode, but I got to give you the full business bros feel, man. Welcome yeah, to the show. No, that was good. I live down, I live in San Diego down in Gaslamp. And uh, when I was a little younger, I used to be in that crowd, <laughs> going to those <laughs> clubs. So brought me back, brought me chills. <laughs> yeah, man. Look, I, I always feel like if you're in the digital marketing space, you need to be having fun. It's the only way that people are really going to connect with you because at the end of the day, we're people. And it's one thing to see a person on a screen. It's another thing to see a person on a stage. And it's completely different to get a vibe where you like connect. So really quick, I know we're going to be talking about uh, what's coming up, but tell me, like, how'd you get into the space and what do you got coming up here in September? Very good. Well, I, um, I got into the digital marketing space in 2008. And that's when I started my agency. Um, before that, I owned a bunch of gas stations. I had six uh, when I was 35. So, you know, I'm like 40 right now. <laughs> no, but the uh, but I, I learned business from owning all those repair shops and gas stations. And then I realized after 90 employees and overhead and everything, I was like, I need something new. So I semi gracefully had sold them off. One got bought Emmett Domain in Lake Tahoe. So then I'm like, I need a new career. So I came across these guys. They taught digital marketing. I found a coach and mentor to mentor me. And then in the early days, I was learning from, from them and I was reselling their products. But me being an ex-business owner, I'm like, how can I apply all these digital strategies to businesses that need help? So started with a realtor, made her the top agent in her office. Two other agents hired me. Then her owner, owner hired me to run the lead gen for 60 agents. This is 2008. That's when the light bulb went off in my head and I go, I got something. I got a new career. And the best part about this career, you mentioned something having fun, is I have time, money, and freedom. Hmm. So I don't have to uh, go to a job. I can work my own hours, work my own time, and and, and the freedom part. And that's part of it is, um, is a, you know, lifestyle. When you do things fun, I travel, I go to Padre games, I, I go to events, you know. Uh, it's, it's, there's a name for it. It's actually kind of called lifestyle marketing. But it's something, you know, you really want to do. You really want to get involved. And I'm really loyal to it. And that's how that's how that's gone. So I have I did that for several years. I won't go on this. Uh, the, I could go on a long story, but this is a shorter one. Uh, in 2011, I started creating online courses. So as an internet marketing training center, and I was reselling those, teaching people how to start their own agency. So I did that for about five or six years. All along, I've been <clears throat> taking on digital marketing clients. And then 2019, I launched the Digital Marketing Training Center because that became more of the buzzword than internet marketing. 
And this one I made it so it covers all different people. It could be an entrepreneur who wants to grow their business. How do they learn the top strategies? Could be someone who wants to start an own agency. You could want to get a job in an agency, or you could want to improve your, um, you know, your 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 online presence and your online branding. So I started creating all that. Uh, COVID, of course, came and hit us, and uh, people stopped going out and networking. And I'm a big networker. So when it came, when there's we things started to open up, <clears throat> I was like, no one's doing any networking events. So two years ago, I started uh, San Diego networking events. I chose that name because it's good for SEO. <laughs> I come up first when you search it, uh, or third after Eventbrite. So, um, so I started doing these events, and I was, they were more of just like a hobby. I was going to be like, you know, I'm the speaker. I can invite people, and I could get you know clients from you know speaking. But it turned out I was having a little more fun with it. And I, I've got three types of events. And one is a business where you just business name tags. And when you shake hands, talk, I speak for a little bit or maybe one other person. Then I have another one, it's a business showcase, an expo. And that's where I met your partner um, at the business showcase. And it's everyone has, you know, have like 30, 40 tables and people uh, represent their tables in front. And uh, you, you work, you go around the room. It's just like a little business expo showcase. And the third one is is like a summit. And this is going to be the first one that I've really gone larger. I've kept the crowds to about 60, 80 people or so over all of these. And I see an opportunity in this space. I don't see anybody really doing that many live events. And I, I like it. I'm going to have different topics. I'm going to have a finance summit in January. I'm going to have an entrepreneur summit. <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, let's see, April, May, June or June, July. And then I'm going to do um, a health and wellness summit. And I already did a smaller one. And then I'm going to go back to a digital. So I'm going to just re rinse and repeat these over the years. So that's kind of comes to us, how we came across. And um, I was talking, I think Shane, right? Is that I think Shane? Shane? Yeah. And, yeah was talking to Shane. and yep. And he wanted to, he saw my upcoming events and he's like, I want to speak. And I'm like, all right, you can speak at the event. And then he's like, oh, I have something that I have to be in LA or something. So that's how I met you. And then I learned what you're doing about podcasting. And um, you know, years ago, I was in that space before it was the in the word podcast. We did, did an online radio show out of a studio in uh, Aero Drive. <laughs> but, uh, but now I've seen how it's evolved. I've seen what you've done with it. And then, um, and then that's you know, one of the reasons why we don't want to talk. I wanted to kind of lead into, you're going to be one of the speakers at my event. And I want to share this to my people and your connections. And I want people to know what to expect when you come to my event in uh, September 21st. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to be talking about the power of podcasting and mainly it's the customer acquisition side of it because uh, at the end of the day, I've, I've learned from over a thousand different entrepreneur interviews. I've, uh, I've, I've taken different courseworks. I've just been able, fortunately, through ups and downs in my own business life to, to kind of figure out what these four pieces of a business are. So um, just to break it down really quick, it's you need to have a way to grab attention. You need to have a way to collect data, name, email, phone number. You need to have the ability to make a sale online and then how you're going to continue to extract cash from the lifetime value of a client. And uh, you know, to, to make it short, that's what I'm going to be talking about. How can you implement these tools, the, the camera, the microphone, and use this content that you're creating to build yourself an incoming income from different clients, from whether it's you want to meet new people and you want to go into a space or you want to build a database of clients that you want to work with, how can you use podcasting to do that? How can you use digital media to, to not just be a face online and have followers, which is great and amazing. That's awesome. But what if you say something wrong? What if all of a sudden the algorithm changes and your reach is gone. How do you continue to leverage all that creative work that you've done and, and grow a business that is sustainable over time? I feel like um, when I talk to different entrepreneurs along the way, too many of us do the one and the two we or the one and the three. We go from we can grab attention and then we make a sale and that's it. We're, we're hunters. We're salespeople. We get out there and we make it happen. But the problem with being a hunter all the time is sometimes the weather's not that great. And sometimes, uh, you know, you get tired and overall we're getting older. And if you if you build a business that is like that, when you try to exit that kind of business, 
you don't really have that kind of success. And so implementing all four of these pieces can help a, a solopreneur become a business owner where they don't feel trapped every single day, struggling and and maybe you know losing their hair and, and feeling overwhelmed over time because they're just oftentimes entrepreneurs are figuring it out on their own. They got into business because they had a dream, right? Like you kind of discussed, you have that dream of, of that financial freedom. You wanted the time freedom, but when they get into business, reality sets in and all of a sudden you're starting to wear hats that you didn't know you had to wear and you're trying to figure it out at the same time. You're trying to make sure you put food on the table and, and you get overwhelmed. That's why nine out of 10 businesses fail in that first year. It's usually not because they're not good at that skill set. It's because you get overwhelmed and burnt out. You don't have the systems and processes in place to take your business to that next level. So on the on September 21st, that's what I'm going to be covering, those four pieces of your business and how you can implement them. I'm also going to be giving away three free tools so that you can start putting them in place. If you're that DIY person, that bootstrapping entrepreneur that's struggling to get started, you're at least going to know what whole you have in your business and three tools that can help you take take you from where you are to where you want to be okay I, um, I have a question for you on that um, uh, and you can I, you know you probably have your own your speech set up but one thing I'd be curious about that I would love to have value and maybe you already cover is how the people are going to monetize it do they monetize it through like banner ads on the website do they monetize it by uh, you know um, having people come in studio and then you give them some content and that customer can use that to monetize. How, how do you, are you going to cover how to monetize a podcast? Yeah. So most of the time, um, I'll give you an example for our podcast, right? Um, the way we've been able to build or monetize is literally by talking to the people that we want to do business with. For me, the the there's two ways that you can come across in a podcast. One is going to be to build yourself up, and the other one is to use it as a networking tool. And like you said earlier, the networking ability from going and shaking hands at networking events kind of fell off for the most part, especially during COVID. So when you are reaching out to people and having them on your show, you're giving them the ability to create content with you, and then that's kind of the door opening conversation. Mm. But how do you monetize that? How do you turn that into something that's viable? For me, it's a prospecting tool that has changed the way I, I meet people every single day. I do two shows a day, four days a week, and our show's booked out 10 weeks in advance. So if you flip that to like a sales side, that's two prospects every single day that I'm bringing value to. That's 10 weeks of appointments that are filled up. And that's where your opportunities come into play. So if you can get people to want to do business with you or at least have a conversation with you, then what we're going to show you is how you can take that content or that that well, the content itself, but also the data that you're collecting from those prospects and continue to talk to them on a regular basis in business. It's, it's really simple. The more offers you make, the more chances you are going to uh, you have out there to make a sale and you have to have the ability to put that into place. So when we when we start talking on the 21st, we're talking about implementing automations and how to implement workflows and things like that campaigns built into your system so that you're constantly providing offers and giving people the ability to do business with you. Right. Right. No, I love, I love that. Love that. Um, <clears throat> can I talk a little bit about a little bit more about the event and what's absolutely uh, people are going to want to know how they can show up. So yeah, uh, there's a link somewhere on this page, right? Somewhere yeah, within, scrolling uh, across right. the bottom. Yeah. So um, it's, there's three types of tickets that we're having for it. Um, there's a $39 ticket. And that gets you at the event, gets you a seat, gets you to check it out with a lower, low cost. I don't want people to think it's too crazy. And then that's going to go to $79 fairly soon. And then as a $99 ticket, but on the $99 ticket, what you do is you get access to the event. You get seats saved in the front. You get lunch. And then you also get access to my digital marketing training center valued at $297, 60, 70 videos. So that you get that just for joining. And then you, you, you definitely if you're in San Diego and I know some people are flying in for this, but the San Diego people, they get one year's access to my SD networking events group. So instead of paying 15 or 25 or 30 at the door at each event, your whole year is covered. So it's really a no brainer if anyone's going to consider doing this and you want to, you like networking because the $99 is less than what the membership is for the, the SD network events. Then you throw in, you know, $297 uh, course, then you throw in lunch, you throw in some seating and stuff like that. 
And there's also another level as a corporate sponsor, if someone wants to be a corporate sponsor. So I'm working on those. Those are early bird prices right now. I'm actually going to keep them a little longer. Uh, I did a rookie move the other day. I I did a, um, and that's rare because I'm a veteran, you know. <laughs> but I uh, I did Eventbrite. I have like 4,000 on my Eventbrite lists. And uh, I, I sent out a link to two sets, 2,000 each, but it, the, the tickets had expired. Like the, on, the, on Eventbrite, you tick a little box when this, and so I sent out a, an event and all the, no one could buy a ticket. So I'm like, <laughs> oh man, because I think on there I said, you know, early bird ends, uh, 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 you know, August 31st. And then, so I think I'm going to, I'm going to extend the, um, the, the early bird. I think it's going to tomorrow, the fifth, but I know that we're just doing this show on the fourth. So just for the sake of that and the, and my, and my rookie move, I'm going to probably move that, uh, that the, um, the early bird date back to probably like the 10th or 12th. So give people a few more days to take advantage of it. And then uh, as well as you, all the, the other speakers, I'm doing some video or Zooms with them and I have more content coming out. So give everyone a chance to come in and take advantage of the earlier pricing. And the venue I'm at, I think I can only hold like 120 to 140. So this could get scarcity. I'm close to 100 right now. And that's still three weeks away. But um, so if anyone's watching this, you're in San Diego and want to come down for the day, it's going to be a great time. We've got six, seven speakers. I can tell you all about them or you could just read it on the link that's on here. So um, I think that's all I've got for today. It's, it's a holiday and Labor Day. But thank you for having me on. And I look forward to meeting you in person because we haven't actually met in person. We have not. We have yeah. not. And we're both here local in San Diego. So, you know, it's got to it's got to happen here soon. So one more time, ladies and gentlemen, the website scrolling across the bottom, digital marketing summit dot net, digital summit, digital marketing summit dot net. Try to say that five times fast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, uh, 1200 episodes and we still fumble on our words. It's just how that works. But one more time, September 21st, get your early bird specials as soon as possible. Look, I get it. We have uh, we have Amy here who's like, she's she's anti-internet guru and social media feels like a waste of time, but she likes referrals. And that's the thing about podcasting here. When you meet people, this is where your network starts to begin. You start to shake hands. You start to meet people mm -hmm. and, and, and work with people. And we do put automations in place so that we continue the conversation. But in reality, this is where you start the conversation with somebody. This is where you initially build that relationship. Yeah. And if you can go and shake hands in person at a networking event, it takes that relationship to an even higher level. So there's a ton that you're going to learn from people who have been doing a lot of different things and you can get your tickets, digitalmarketingsummit.net and get there, shake hands, meet people, learn. But one thing no one can ever take away from you is what you learn, is what the, the education that you get. And so if you can go and meet all kinds of people who can teach you a lot of different things, you can take that to any industry you want digital marketing summit.net is scrolling across the bottom make sure you guys get your tickets and james thank you again for coming on the show ladies and gentlemen a really quick really short episode enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend have a good one peace and we're out it's over go home is your business in need of marketing try starting a podcast but not just any podcast podcast like a pro we can show you how to take your business from being invisible to becoming a brand people trust. Go to www.businessbros.biz to get started today.